Kiki and Mama Fabian. Today, guys, is my birthday. Today, as I'm recording this video, it's Sunday, the 3rd of March. I'm officially 23. 23 years old, guys. I, I, I can't wrap my head around that. Honestly. Honestly, the way the Amini is 23, but yes, happy birthday to me. And because it's my birthday, it's also Fabian's birthday. Because by me existing, God had a purpose and he knew that through me he was going to bring out this beautiful, beautiful young baby, young baby boy for me. So today is also Fabian's birthday because I'm existing, he's existing. So happy birthday to Fabian too. And I just want to talk to you guys about my biggest parenting failure. Okay, what I feel like has been my biggest parenting failure as Fabian's mother and by the time he grows up and sees this video it's not going to be a failure anymore it's gonna be bygones if I can say so I gave birth to Fabian I got pregnant when I was 20 in 2016 and imagine guys it feels like you you're pregnant for an year because I gave I was pregnant when I was 20 I gave birth when I was 21 are you trying to tell me I was pregnant for an year <laughs> Anyway, so I gave birth when I was 21. August 11th of the day, I gave birth to Fabian. And uh, you know when you're pregnant, all you can do is enjoy all these moments that you have with this wonderful human being in your stomach. All the cakes, all the huffing and puffing, all the cravings that you're eating, those are part of enjoying like that pregnancy time. And you never really... Okay, for me, I never really thought about after I gave birth to Fabian, like how it was going to be. Or like, at the moment I was, I made sure like I enjoyed my pregnancy experience. Trust me, you guys. I was eating like crazy. You, you know this from the previous videos. I always emphasize that I was eating like crazy. I was 72 kgs. I was always eating. I won't even lie to you guys. That was my biggest hobby when I was pregnant. So, I made sure I enjoyed my pregnancy and I was happy and I didn't, I wasn't stressed in any way because I didn't want my baby to feel stressed. I just wanted to have a smooth pregnancy, which I did. That led me to have like a very good and smooth uh, labor and delivery. After you give birth, Wendy talked about having a fourth, fourth trimester. If you haven't checked that out, make sure you watch. The previous video before this and you're going to see what she's talking about when she mentions the fourth trimester and that's when it actually hits you like damn like i'm a mom you know like this is not going to be something that you'll just wake up one day and it goes away this is going to be something that's going to be with you for the rest of your life like this is a whole human being that's going to be depending on you till the day that you die like, a baby never stops being a baby to their mother, no matter what age they are. Like, whether they work on social by now, they tell you that. Like, any whether they were Africa. Anyway, it's, it's important if you're watching this video and you're planning to get pregnant, please, 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 think about it a lot. Think, think about it a lot. Think about if you're ready to be selfless with anything and everything that you I'm have. never really my first priority, which it's, it's, it's also a disadvantage because I never think of myself as much. Like, I'm never really a first priority to myself. Fabian always comes first, no matter what. When I'm about to spend money, when I see something good that I like, and I want to buy it. Then I remember, oh, but I really wanted to buy Fabian's shoes. I end up buying him stuff and forget that I actually needed anything. Like, just say, and the fact that he appreciates, guys, I'll buy Fabian clothes. And when I put them on him, he'll go to the mirror and start checking himself out. <sighs> As in, that just makes me happy, to be honest. So, if you're planning to get pregnant, just know it's the most selfless act you can ever do ever in this life for the first year of his life i was really really sorted you know i was like yes i was getting modeling gigs here and there so i was making small small money when you put all these small small money together it becomes big money so i was really really like enjoying providing for him and just doing things for him 
and then it just reached a point where the jobs aren't as much you know with modeling in Kenya you can never really be sure that you're going to get a job every single time so it reached a point where the jobs became less so the the money that was coming in was less than the money that was going out and it made me so frustrated because I'm sitting here and I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, I don't want to like stress my parents to have to do all these things for my baby. I think, wait, I didn't tell you like, now for me, the biggest failure for me as a parent to Fabian is not being like financially stable. And you know, like with finances, there are things you can't control, like these are things you it's either you have money or you don't have money. There's no in between. You can't say, Kati, oh, and a patatudo, and a patatudo, na ujuta patayudo wapi. You don't. So it, it becomes really frustrating. And you wish sometimes it was something like, something that you have control over, like something like your emotions or your actions. You, that those are the things that you wish you would fail in so that you could be able to change them but when it comes to financial situations it's more of you have to toil i remember in a video i told you guys that i'm job hunting and it's crazy like it's it takes a big toll on just sitting this child ex doesn't know that one I need to do. You know, like them, they're just happy. They're just happy seeing you there. They're just happy being around you, not knowing that. And you, in your head, you're thinking, how sh like, oh, this baby needs diapers. This baby needs to go to school. Oh my God. In the next, like, one year, you need to go to school. So... It takes like a huge toll on someone when you have to think about like your financial status when you have a kid. So that for me becomes my biggest failure. And now guys are going to be like, no, that's not a failure and all the things that personally to, to me it feels like a failure. Like I failed him by not being prepared enough when I brought him into this world, you know, like I'd probably have wished to have like a stable job and all those things so that I could have been able to, to be stress free and things like that. But here I am. For me, that's, that's the biggest failure. That was last year. So I got really stressed out thinking of because his birthday was coming up and I was like damn like I really need to do something amazing for my son on his birthday and I don't know where I'm going to get this money like I was so stressed out and for you guys to know that God works in mysterious ways I'm here stressing I'm like Please God, like I just want to do, it's not really necessary for you to do a big birthday for your child, but I wanted to do something small for him because I appreciate him being in my life. Like he changed my life. So I felt like it was really important for me to, even though he didn't know that what a birthday was, I felt like it was really important for me to appreciate my son in that way. So listen to this guys, like it's so amazing. Before his birthday was coming around, I got a job. Like I got called for a job. Like I didn't know where I was going to get the money. It was a modeling job. And the money was really, really good. So I was like, oh my God, thank you. Like, thank you so much. It's like, like I've never doubted the plans that you've had for me ever. So this one was just like a reassurance that he's never going to leave your side no matter what you're going through. So... I did a small birthday for my son. I called kids outside. Where wakakula nini 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 All I told my mom, just don't do anything. Let me just pay for the food. It was not really food, but it was just like small bitings for cake and snacks for the children that came to celebrate. And my son was happy. I swear he was so happy. And that just made me happy. Like it made me feel like this was actually worth it. 
so fast forward to now we are in march fabian is now almost one year seven months on 11th which will be ne after next week so on monday that's when he'll be one year seven months and i just turned 23 and now that i'm 23 like god is amazing like i started this year like this year started out and i was telling my brother like this is going to be an year of amazing thing and for sure for sure for sure it's going to be an year of amazing thing god is amazing today i went to church and today the sermon in church was divine blessings you know this is a month this is an year of divine blessings like god is going to bless you in a way that even you are not prepared for you, what you think is a failure to you, to God, is just like with a snap of a finger, he can just change your life to anything and everything. So that was my failure. That I felt like that was my failure for the longest time. But now I feel like it's more of a strength for me because it, it really pushes me to do the most, literally. It really pushes me to be the best version of myself that I can ever be and I'm really grateful for everyone that's wished me a happy birthday today for everyone that's been part of my life for everyone that has took, taken time off to be part of Fabian's life this is also an appreciation video for those people like thank you guys so much like this has just been a crazy one year and seven months of my life and I really can't wait for the years that are coming and i know that god is going to bless me and my family my baby is going to bless all of us and everything is going to be amazing i'm sorry guys i really tried as much as possible not to be emotional but i repeat disclaimer disclaimer please the only person who makes me emotional like this is fabian so thank you so much for tuning into this video if you're new to this channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell and click also on the bell button to turn on your notifications and get a notification every time we post a new video and i really hope you enjoyed this video let's engage in the comments and i'll see you guys next time bye